Welcome back to Making a Difference. Well, so many of us wonder how we can make a difference in one's life, and you never know who it's going to be that's going to make a difference. I have a very wonderful guest with me, Ryan from Columbia Scuba, and he made a difference actually in my child's life. Ryan, um, you were very thoughtful, as was your company, to donate scuba diving equipment for, or a wetsuit to my son when he was in Surfers Healing, which is a fabulous day for children with autism to learn how to surf. We had to go in the beginning of the fall, freezing cold weather up in Nantucket, um, Rhode Island, and if it wasn't for that wetsuit, it wouldn't have been an enjoyable experience. So please introduce yourself and tell us all about how scuba diving can make a difference in people's lives. Thanks very much. I'm glad that we were able to help your, uh, your, your son out there. Um, you know, scuba diving is, has really transitioned a lot over the last 40, 50 years or so from something mm -hmm. that was originally considered to be a very much guys-only, men-dominated sport to a very, um, very inclusive uh, community of, of people, big, big... Uh, Groups of divers, communities that mm -hmm. uh, that you know share it and do it as hobbies. People will start when they're oftentimes will start when they're you know younger, when they're you know out of college, early twenties, something like that. You know, boyfriend, girlfriend will do mm -hmm. it, and then you know next thing you know, ten, fifteen years later, they're bringing their kids in to do it. And it's become yeah, a nice. huge family thing. There's lots of resorts out in the Caribbean that'll actually cater to families. Some of them have daycares for all the. You know, adults are out diving, and when the kids are older, mm -hmm. there's, um, you know, all sorts of different um, resorts that cater to coming down with your children and making a very family-oriented experience. How long of a learning curve is there? It's not very long at all. It's, um, you know, the program that we offer, we have two different programs. It's uh, either a six-week process or a three-week process, mm -hmm. meeting either once a week or twice a week, just depending upon the various schedules people have. And it's done in a pool normal to start off with or in the ocean? There's three different components to the class. There's mm -hmm. the classroom work, the pool work, and then the open water training dives. The mm -hmm. classroom work and pool work are done at the same time, kind of in conjunction with one another. We'll go to the classroom for a little while, then be in the pool for a little bit. Once all of the classroom and pool work is done, people will go out to an actual open water environment. In the case of our shop, we use a lake in Westminster oh, that was flooded fine. for scuba diving has some... You know, some buses and platforms and some wrecks for people to go look at and divers to go see and enjoy. Oh, very nice. They also nice. allow just general public swimming for those who are interested. Right. And we do the certification dives there over a weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. And then you're certified. Oh, very, very nice. And then if that certified means you can go and scuba dive wherever you like to Yeah, go. anywhere in the world. You can charter boat operations to take you out to go diving. You can you know, purchase and rent gear, um, go on different trips all over, now, whatever is it you a, like. Is it a very, very expensive sport or is it a fairly reasonable sport? It, it can be a little bit expensive. It's a very gear-intensive sport. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, unlike snorkeling where, you know, you get right. a mask and a pair of fins and you go, there's a whole lot of equipment that goes into it. And depending upon the type of diving you want to do, um, shipwrecks, mm -hmm. you know, ice diving for the really brave. Ice diving, um, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Um, things like that, the, the, the gear can get a little pricey. But once you have it, it can actually be a fairly reasonably priced sport to get into. And I assume you can rent the gear if you wanted to? Yeah, absolutely. You can rent the gear. Uh, we have full line of rental stuff at our store, and most places in the Caribbean will have a pretty, pretty well-rounded rental lines as well. And could you share where your store is, please? We are located at 6695C Dobbin Road in Columbia. Do you have a website? We do. It's www.columbiascuba.com. Very, very nice. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, doing all the fun social media stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you do any like fundraising kind of things with scuba diving? We have. We have done different fundraising events in the past. We've run four or five of them now for various local charities. We always like to keep the uh, money we raise local. Mm -hmm. um, oh, geez, what did we do? Um, Leukemia Lymphoma Society. Wonderful. Uh, Susan G. Komen Terrific. in Maryland. Um, the Kennedy Krieger Institute. Um, specifically for you know, uh, autism for research, autism. University of Maryland for mm -hmm. their research department, uh, the School of Medicine, um, one or two others. I'm, I don't remember them all off the top of my head, but uh, those were all really fun and successful and raised Fabulous. a pretty decent amount of money for each one. Fabulous. Now, I'm looking at that equipment. It, yep, it's huge. Is, it. is it possible for some of my size to actually be able to wear that? Absolutely. Actually, this BC I brought with me, uh, BC, it's buoyancy, buoyancy compensator, is women's cut. A lot of the gear manufacturers now are making stuff specifically with women in mind. Um, so it's cut to fit a woman's body, so I brought it for you to try on. Oh, I'd love to try it on. Let yeah. me try. Mm -hmm. I've only had one, two scuba diving experiences that I shared with you off camera, so I encourage people to get lessons before they scuba dive. <laughs> okay. There's that big Velcro band in I the front. It. You just pull that real snug. Like right here. I feel like I'm being hugged. 
And there's a sec secondary clip right in front of the Velcro band. Right here? There you go. All right. Now, if I had a breathing problem, I don't, but if I had like asthma, can I still scuba dive? Possibly. Mm -hmm. There's uh, various medical qualifiers that can, um, oh, that can uh, dictate whether or not someone can do class. There's a medical form everybody has to fill out at mm -hmm. the beginning of class to make sure that they're okay. And if there's any problems that are brought up by the form, they just need to get a doctor's note. So this is my tank. I guess yep. that's my oxygen. Air, yeah. There's a lot of air in mm -hmm. there. Yep. And I can put my snacks in here. Absolutely. Any snacks really? you want. We recommend stuff that doesn't get too soggy. But yeah, can I can I go into the? I guess I could go into the ocean with the skier and the bay. Absolutely, right? I don't know how great the diving is in the <laughs> bay, but you could you certainly could if you wanted to. What kind, and I would wear a mask. Yep, just mask. like a snorkel mm -hmm. mask. Um, yeah, so so long as it encloses the nose. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. you know, snorkeling, scuba diving, they don't really make a big distinction between the two there. Right, and this is really comfortable. Have you all ever considered selling this as a lumbar curve, you know, a, a support? My back is, feels really good with this on. <laughs> uh, I've I've never thought of marketing it that way, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm game, sure, let's give it a try. <laughs> what else can you tell our viewers about scuba diving and how it can make a difference? Like, I'm sure it builds relationships, you can have friendship groups from yeah, it. it. It absolutely does. I'm, there are meetup groups for it, there are all sorts of different clubs and associations that you can get involved with. Mm -hmm. um, you know, certainly people move to new areas, it's a great way to meet people, especially that share a common hobby. Oh, absolutely. Um, and then again, it's, it's a great family bonding experience as well. And now, what is this for? That is a dive computer. That, mm -hmm. uh, rather than what we used to use in the old days, was a set of analog uh, gauges, two dials, one that had mm -hmm. tank pressure and one that had depth. That replaces it much more high tech, and it um, does all sorts of computational information to calculate your depth, how long you've been down, how long you can remain down, how safely, uh, how much more bottom time you can have safely, and how, how uh, quickly you should be going up. So it's a really safe sport. Very, very safe sport, yeah. And do you normally go with an individual scuba diving, or do people do this alone? It's, it's really, it's, it's intended to be a buddy mm -hmm. sport, uh, something oh, nice. you at least do with one other person. Mm -hmm. And, you know, certainly I've, I've gone on uh, dives where all 18 people on the boat knew each other, and we were all just kind of diving together in a big group spread very out nice. over a, a decently sized how area. How long have you been scuba diving? I got certified when I was... 15 years old, so a while. And the air portion, where is that? Oh, just, oh, yep, that's it, it right, right there. Here. It's oh, turned I guess on. I clipped can, it in. Yep, you can, uh, oh. I clipped it in. I won't be unsafe. So while I do this, are there any humorous stories or touching stories you could think of that have occurred over the years um, with your scuba diving mm -hmm. lessons or experiences? Um, or maybe frightening experiences while you were scuba diving or interesting? Uh, this just goes right in here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Your mouth and breathe is going to make some noise, but... <laughs> there you go. Wow, that actually feels really good. Yeah. Can I do it, it again? It's, it, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's completely dry filtered air. There's no moisture in it, so, uh, so that it doesn't damage the inside of the tanks. But, and do you uh, blow it out through your nose or through your mouth? You can exhale uh, either through your mouth or through your nose, whichever you're more comfortable with. Very you interesting. You have to be careful exhaling through your nose, though, so you don't flood your mask. Ah. But so long as you do it carefully, yeah, you can. My luck, I would do that, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> but can you think of any nice stories you'd like to share? Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I, I'll clean this up a bit. That's um, fine. <laughs> I, I was leading a, a group. I, I used to work in the Florida Keys, and I was leading a group when I worked at a Boy Scout camp down there um, along the reef doing a night dive. And um, suddenly came across uh, three divers who, who were just diving off, off some other boat mm -hmm. uh, somewhere else, and I realized that... Uh, all three of them were naked. Oh my! And I had a whole bunch of Boy Scouts. I had to no, 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 no! Don't, don't look. Just, just keep going. Don't. So. Uh -oh. Oh, no, oh gosh! And they're under the water. See, so yeah, I guess there's certain things we want to see. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess they were looking for dolphins and for angelfish and for mm -hmm. thing, barracudas. Instead, they got something else that they. They, they uh, did. They did. They got. Uh, there. One of the more interesting dives I'm sure they've done in a. Oh my goodness ever. gracious. Well, I want to make sure our viewers know again where, how to find you and about the website. And we only have a couple of minutes left, so if there's anything else you'd like to share, um, we'd love to hear it. Um, really, just uh, you know, it's it's a great uh, it's a great way to uh, to bond. A lot of people have have really found um, you know something very special in scuba diving. Uh, a lot of people. Um, are getting into it as um, means of um, you know, exercise, rehabilitation. A lot of the wounded warrior people mm -hmm. have been going through and using oh, that wonderful. as a way of kind of, you know, it, it said the water's a great equalizer. We all get equally awkward and clumsy in there. So, you know, any kind of disability kind of goes out the window um, 
once you get it in the water, and it's a great opportunity for a lot of people. It's so true. It's so true. And I remember you had said something about we were going to do some kind of pool party at some point um, to do some scuba diving. So mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to becoming certified as a scuba diver because I love the water. We'll mm -hmm. be glad to get you certified. Oh, I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. Well, Ryan, thank you so much for coming on. And I have to tell you, if anybody wonders, this is very, very comfortable. And I feel like I'm being, you know, you feel safe. I guess that's the whole idea behind mm -hmm. it, that it's yeah. holding yeah, on to you. Yeah, you want to be comfortable and, and, and secure. And, yeah. Really like it. Well, good. Well, thank you again. No problem.